what's going on everybody as you can tell this is our top five video so these are the 2023 top five U bats that we have swung this year now there's only three requirements to make our top five and you gotta been swung by us it's got to pass compression when we're done and guys it's got to be hot now this is the one thing I will say I don't have a number one. We put top five and that's it. I'm not going to sit there and say there's a number one and don't ask because I couldn't even tell you. Um, there is always day to day, guys. But hey, I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and let's get started. Okay, guys, first up, the Easton Tantrum One Piece. Man, you're talking about one of the most hype bats of 2023. Um, these came with a 12 and 3 quarter inch barrel. You could order them in sizes of 25, 26, and 27. Um, and they had the power boost knob. So this basically had like a rubber knob on it, guys, so it could help dampen the vibration or getting any, um, like on your miss hits or hitting it, you know, at the end of the bat. Well, guys, this bat had a huge sweet spot. You could hit it off the hands. Um, you didn't, you really didn't get any feedback on it. And hell, dude, the ball went, even when you kind of hit it down toward the taper. Um, big sweet spot, uh, had a nice super soft barrel. And I mean, this, this ball, the bat performed in the cooler weather and it performed in the warmer weather. Now it does definitely like an Easton, most Easton's perform better in the cooler weather, but this one just performed all the way around. Um, as far as the load, it uh, had a decent, decent end load on it. It wasn't, uh, you know, overly aggressive, but it was pretty good end load considering, you know, most Easton's don't come with a big in low because they counterweight their um handle weight so much but guys this thing was hype they were selling out of these things so fast they would restock sell out again i remember they re uh, i believe smash at sports and just bats or restock these things in the fall and they just sold out you know completely sold out again in no time um but you couldn't find one of these anywhere man but this thing it just hey it worked i mean this thing was hot man it was a really good bat but it was just you know like it caught a lot of controversy the only cons on this bat were First thing was it didn't pass compression from what everybody said. But the other thing was with the bat was so soft, sometimes you would hit it and it just didn't give you that instant gratification feedback. It kind of felt like a dull, kind of a dull soft bat. And sometimes you'd miss hit it and it would give you the same feeling. So kind of that's the one thing about this bat. You couldn't tell when you hit it, you were like, oh, I hit that one good. You didn't ever get that feel from it because it just had this really weird, weird dull feel. And then you'd sit there and watch the ball just sail. It would just keep carrying and you're like, well, damn, I guess I got it good. But that's just kind of the feedback you got from the bat. But, man, this thing was a good one this year, guys. I mean, Easton really outdid themselves. And um, I, don't, I, I know the two pieces didn't do as well because of the connection piece because this one piece definitely um, was the way to go. But these things were good, guys. The hype is real. Okay, up next, guys, is the Proton Series 2. It's a one-piece bat, guys. It comes in a 12 and 3 quarter inch barrel. You can get these in different loads. So you basically, if you place an order, you can chip pick your load on these. So you can get in a balanced half ounce load or a full ounce. And you can order these in sizes of 25, 26, and 27. And these did come with that Nanotech grip. So I know they got away from the Nanotech eventually down the road, but in this series here, we did have the Nanotech, which is a, it's kind of like a rubberized uh, coating around the bat where it would help you spin or cut the ball and guys like we've we felt like it worked so you could you would sometimes even if you like inside out the ball you could kind of get an inside out spin on the infield or the vice versa if you come around the ball early and you kind of get an outside in or you get some crazy knuckle balls but guys i got a chance to swing this bat um we were at a tournament i went and go watch uh josh and them guys playing a tournament and i got to swing this bat in a game and man i just pulled this thing out of the truck guys with no swings and honestly just it felt like i didn't even it just went to town on it i mean i was just hitting the ball easy line drives backside and it just it, it worked really well for us um i ordered a 27 ounce with a full one ounce in load and like i said it had a big sweet spot uh i never felt like a one piece bat because i didn't feel like you were ever getting any feedback it has a nice crack sound on it and guys it just like i said just it was easy to drive the ball it was an easy bat to just to control it and don't feel like you have to break it in a lot now if i was to give cons on this bat it runs a touch light on the end load so i would probably if like I would either go up a size or maybe uh, get the one ounce in load instead of the half ounce in load. And sometimes the paint would flake or um, flake off. But I know that uh, Charles or Proton has a motto where basically they say it's what is it? They say it. it's like it's 100% guaranteed to to pass 
hit gas in last and um, or something like that. And uh, it, it, but it's a really good bat, guys. And they're one of the sharper looking color bats out there. So like, if you're not happy with it, he's he basically says he's guaranteed to replace the bat for you. But uh, guys, that was the Proton Series Two One Piece bat. And we and we did like the two piece, but the two piece actually had a little bit too much flex in the handle for us. Okay, guys, up next is the Pure Sports NDM3. It's got that big 13-inch barrel, and you can use your loads on these guys. So you can pick it in a balanced version, a half ounce, or a full ounce in load. And you can order these in sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 27.5. And these do carry what they they have a BTG grip, which is a bat traction grip. And the bat traction grip basically is it's a texture uh, inside the paint or on the paint on the outside where it helps you spin or cut the ball a little easier. And guys, these are game ready. So these are not like the BMF or the Jason Branch where it takes a, quite a few swings to break those in. These are supposed to be a little bit hotter and easier to break in. Now, why do we prefer the, the Pure Sports? First off, we love the feel of the barrel. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. It's in between. Um, they 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 really perform well in all weather. So like it, they perform very well in the cooler weather, we feel like. And they also perform very well in the warmer weather. Now, some bats are not, you can't say that about. Certain bats, you did, they just don't perform in the cooler weather. And certain bats just don't perform at all in the warm weather. Now, the loads on these, um, I do feel like they run a touch light, but they're not, I, you know, like if, if you like a half ounce in load, maybe go to a full ounce because they have that incremental load. So basically if they put weight in the end, they're going to put some more weight in the handle kind of to counterweight it. And, and that's kind of how they go about it. But but guys, the ball jumps off this bat. It's got not, just a nice crisp feel to it. And like, man, we just, we feel like it's got enough load to be able to drive the ball. And you just love the, the feel of the Indium bats. Now we did swing the Indium 2 uh, 12 inch barrel. We didn't put a video out on it, but we did like that bat. And you could probably get maybe a little bit more whip with it because it's a 12-inch barrel. But, guys, this is the NDM3 series. This is one of the bats that made our top five. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one, and another one, and another one. Okay, guys, we got another Easton in our uh, top five here, and it is the Easton Venom from part of the Mar Marvel uh, series from Smash It Sports. And, guys, this thing has a 12-and-a-half-inch barrel, and it comes in sizes of 25, 26, and 27. And, guys, these are loaded. So loaded basically means in Easton terms that it's a half-ounce in load. And these have the triple wall technology. So the triple wall technology is definitely not the same as the Tantrum Tech. Now, when we first took this out there, it was cooler weather, guys. And, yes, Easton's hit really good in the cooler weather because it was like 50 degrees that day when we hit when we did the review. So I eventually had to go put some more swings on it kind of to make to see if it can make my my top five and i compared it to some other bats and well here we are is in our top five now when i first hit this thing i wanted to say the one thing that was uh it, i was worried about i didn't worry about was it had such a big sweet spot that i thought it was almost like a 13 inch barrel i really did or like a 12 and three quarter at least but you never noticed it was a short barrel um it did not have a lot of hand weight on it and for a half ounce load for easton it didn't um it wasn't super light. Now, I'll also say the biggest concern that we always have with our Easton bats is the connection piece. And this is a two-piece bat, of course. The connection piece, we did not have any issues with flex. And the only time I think we ever got any like reverberation from flex was when we hit the ball toward the end. Now, I, I just, like I said, so I hit it in some warmer weather. It wasn't 80 or 90 degree weather, but I hit it in like 70 degree weather and it performed very well. So like, I would like to hit this in the summer a little bit better, but, but man, this snuck in as our dark horse guys. This thing was an underdog because I put it over another bat that I'll mention here in a minute, but guys, Easton made it again. Now what's the knock on these? A lot of times under the connection piece, if they get a lot of swings on them, they'll get a crack underneath there. And this is definitely not the tantrum tick. It feels completely different because you get a better feedback on the ball than you do say the tantrum. The tantrum's kind of dull where this one has you like an instant gratification. You hear that crack sound, you know you got it when you hit it. So that's what we like about this Easton because you just get that instant gratification. So yeah, this one snuck in at the last second, guys. So let's move on to the next bat.
Okay, guys, last but not least, we're going to pick the entire Louisville Slugger line. No, I'm just joking, guys. I'm not that guy. What I'm going to tell you, though, is we swung a lot of the Louisville Slugger bats, the Iron Man, the Catalyst, I mean, the pass amount. We swung a lot of stuff, guys, but I will tell you this. Hands down, the Griffey Genesis was our favorite. Um, big sweet spot with that big 13-inch barrel. Um, it had a nice end load, which is the power load, which is basically their heaviest end load out of all their bats. And it had that Power X Cool technology. So with that Power X Cool technology, it's supposed to be a softer barrel. And guys, it was. It felt like a little bit softer. It was supposed to help with the paint seam issues they were having. And you can order these in sizes of 25, 26, and 27. And guys, I will tell you this. Um, in the summer months of June, July, and August, I don't think you will find a better performing bat than the, than the Genesis line. I really don't. Um, we went, I've gone to tournaments and I watched them guys and I was just out there and I keep telling this story and I watched guys and do these bats. I was watching everybody seeing what everybody was swinging. Kind of, I'm just trying to get an idea cause it helps me with the channel and man, watching this bat, the bot, these bats were just outperforming others in the heat, man, in my opinion. And they just, the line dry swings, even the ground balls, they were just crisper, faster. They just felt like they just went, just they went just a little bit more faster than the other bats, guys. And they hold compression. They keep their compression, which is what's so crazy, guys. And I think the only knock on these things is, is in my opinion, is uh, they get the paint seams. And you don't want to hit them in the cooler weather. So I wouldn't, honestly, my opinion, I wouldn't hit these things below 75 degrees. That's just my opinion. But, guys, Louisville Slugger makes one of the best 240 bats out there, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's hard to compete with them. I, I really do. And I know I'm kind of ranting on this. But, man, I've, I've gone out there. I went to a tournament. Me and Chad, in between games, I went out there and we did a review. And he was hitting uh, an Easton. And I said, dude, uh, the way, I said, switch this. Try this bat, man. Just try it. And I said, I'm telling you, it's just going to perform better you, for you in the heat. And he was like, no, nah, man, because Chad's an Easton lover. And he, he walked off there, went to that tournament. He started swinging slugger after he took some BP with me. And I'm just telling you guys, one of the top performing bats in the, in the um, heat. But, uh, guys, that was it. That was on the Genesis. You can't go wrong with a Genesis line. You find your different, your different load or anything, and you can definitely find some good ones. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is our honorable mention. This is the Mike and Freak 9R. It's our runner-up. It just got edged out by the other top five bats. But this was a very popular bat this year. It was the short barrel, 12-inch barrel with a full one-ounce end load. I believe they come in sizes from 25 ounces all the way up to 27. Now, this bat had a ton of pop. It had a big end load on it. And, guys, you could really swing this bat hard, and you didn't have to worry about handle flex. And you could just, like, you could just go to town on this thing. But I will tell you why we felt like, or at least I felt, like it didn't make my top five was that it had it did not perform well enough in the warmer weather i just didn't think it was it was quite there um it, the other top five bats just kind of edged this one out but this was right there on the um nicking out our heels but it was a really good bat this year guys so if you picked one of these up you definitely wouldn't be disappointed but this is the freak 9r and this was probably josh's favorite bat this year he really really liked this bat it was one of the true bats that he could actually just really swing away and swing hard on and he liked that big end load on there and with that short barrel, you get a little bit more whip with it. But uh, this was our honorable mention, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. There is our top five U Triple S A bats of. 2023 yes i'm a bit late because i know it's january the 31st but hey guys that was our top five and just remember guys these are our opinions this isn't written in stone and this this is not what has to be because there's other bats that you guys may like that we didn't mention but hey if we didn't swing it and if it didn't pass compression and guys and if it wasn't hot it didn't make our top five but guys we want to thank everybody for watching we want to thank for all the subscribers who have subscribed and guys i want to thank all the bat companies that sent us stuff to do bats for you guys so hey i guess that's it until next time keep hitting it guys and if you got any questions hit me up in the comments or you can hit me up on instagram or facebook and guys if you ever want to get any face uh, fat guy vp hats to, i'll put a link down below it's at madhatterscaps.com so we'll talk to you later thank you